Hey guys, and welcome to this lesson on constructing a door framed wall. And so we're constructing a model, an architectural model that's one tenth scale of a normal building. And so in this lesson, we're going to be learning how to build a door framed wall. And these are the measurements that we're going to be using. So our top and our bottom plate are both going to be eight inches. Our studs are going to be seven and three quarters of an inch. Our king studs are the same, seven and three quarters of an inch. Our jack studs are at six and a half inches. Okay, and so you'll need two of those. Our headers, we're going to have two headers. We're going to do two and five eighths of an inch. And then our cripple studs, we'll be doing three cripple studs, and they're going to be one and one sixteenth of an inch. Okay, and so those are all of the measurements, and those are all the pieces that we're going to need. So we're going to need a total of six seven and three quarter inch studs, two jack studs, three cripples, and then two header pieces, and of course our top and bottom plate. Okay, so if you want to if you want to pause the video here so you can see those measurements, go ahead and pause the video, take those measurements, and then we will get started with the construction. Okay, so we're going to take this off. And now we are going to start constructing this. And so we are starting with our bottom plate. Okay. And so again, we have marked our bottom plate with the same measurements from our previous walls. Okay. And so that is going to be a measurement between one and five sixteenths and one and three eighths. Okay. So if you look at this right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. There it goes into focus. So we put a mark right here between one and five sixteenths and one and three eighths. I put a mark right here. This is our spacing that we're doing between each of our studs, right? So we have on center spacing. Okay. And so just like as, as before, we are going to tape down our bottom plate, making sure that it's nice and secure. And so remember guys, as we're taping this down, we want to make sure that our tape is not going over where our studs are going to be laying, right? So we want to make sure that when you're placing your tape, you're putting it between where the studs will be placed. Okay. And so I am going to use four pieces because we want to make sure that's nice and secure. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our left side first. We're going to start with our regular seven and three quarter inch stud. And so when we use our ruler right here, you can see, I'm gonna put my, my piece down, I'm gonna put the ruler down. So it should be at seven and three quarter inches. And you can see that right here, I have marked on the ruler where seven and three quarter inches is. So you can see it nice and plain. And so that's seven and three quarters of an inch, okay? And so that is the length of our studs. So we're going, to be, we're going to be using that first. And remember, we're using our bottle of glue. We're going to open our bottle of glue. We're not going to be using the nozzle. Okay, we're going to be dipping our pieces in. Okay. And so let's... Okay, and so let's see if we can recenter this so you can see the entire piece. Let's try to zoom out a little bit. So that way you can see the entire wall as we're constructing it. Okay. And so we have our first piece that we're going to be putting in. And so I'm just dipping the ends just like we were before, right? So I'm just dipping the ends into the glue, trying to get the tip down. Okay. And so now I'm going to place that. And so as I place that on my plate, I'm going to use my top plate right here. And I'm going to put that as well. Okay, so I'm putting that on. We're just going to keep going down the line. Okay, so again, we're just dipping it in, trying to get off all that excess, just having it on the tips, on the ends. Okay, and we're going to put glue that gets on anything else. So we're putting that here. And then once we get our first two down, Next thing we're going to do is just like before, if you've watched the previous video, we're going to tape that top stud down so that way it's held in place. Okay. And now we're just going to keep going. Okay. So we're doing our studs right now. 
Now when we get to the center, we are going to be putting our jack studs in. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down right here. Okay, and so on this piece right here, we're going to be putting our jack stud in. Okay, so I'm going to put a little excess glue on the side so that way it sticks to it. Now you can see we, hit, we have a mark right here on the center. This is the center point of the door. There is not going to be a stud here. We're going to be putting our jack studs into that spot right there. So I'm going to dip it on one side, and then I'm going to use a dipstick, right? So I got a little dipstick right here. I'm going to dip that into my glue, and then using my dipstick, I'm going to coat the side that's going to be against the king stud, right? And so it doesn't need to be totally coated, but it needs to be enough to where it's going to stick, okay? And so remember, you're trying to conserve resources too, right? So you shouldn't be like making a mess around your house. So you're going to place your jack stud next to your king studs. Make sure that's nice and tight. Okay. And now we're going to start from the other side. Okay. And so we're going to be placing our... end piece first. All right, so now we got this end. Now once we get this end on, again, we're going to add some tape. So I've run out of clear tape, so now I'm gonna be using some masking tape. Any tape will do, right? And so we're holding this, we're holding this into place, that's the whole purpose, right? And then we're taping it down, right? So that way it has some pressure holding that top plate against your stud and then we're just going to continue going and so this should be pretty repetitive it's just the same thing right over and over again now once we get to the once we get to our jack studs and we place our headers that will change up a little bit but for now it's just placing your pieces onto your onto your surface Last one here. This will be our last. This is our king stud on the other side, right? And so again, king stud. Now the king studs are the studs that are next to the door. Right, next to the door. And so I'm gonna put some pressure here. Add another piece of tape. I'm going to hold that into place. And then this bottom one, I'm also going to make an adjustment. I'm just holding that into place. All right. And so now we're doing our jack studs. Okay. You can see a little glue has run, out, run on the, onto the mat, and that's okay. Once this dries, we're going to be reinforcing those top those top studs anyway, right? And so once this dries, it will it'll just it'll just pop right off that mat right there. Okay, so we're doing our other jack stud here. So I got my my stick right here and I'm just spreading my glue my glue on here, right? Like I said, it doesn't need to be super thick, right? It doesn't need to be super thick, but enough to where it's going to hold that that jack stud in place, right? So we should it should be coated. So this is the most time consuming part, right? I'm trying to put just enough glue where it's not gonna make a big mess. And all right, so our other jack stud on this side right here. Okay. Okay, so now we have our jack studs in place, we have our king studs in place. And now we're going to be working on our headers. Now our headers, like I said, are two and five eighths inches, right? So two and five eighths. So when we put this up against the ruler right here. So remember, five eighths is two lines past 
your half inch mark, right? So you have your half inch mark, right? Which is eight sixteenths or one half. And then there's nine sixteenths, right? And then there's 10 sixteenths, which is five eighths, right? So two and five eighths long. And so on these right here, you are just gonna do the ends again, okay? So you're just gonna get those ends covered. So just like this on both sides, and then place that piece between your two jack studs and your other one. Here we go. All right. So that's our first header. We're gonna do our second piece, right? So this would be like the two by four, and then this is acting as our two by six, right? So when we build a regular wall, we'd have our two, two by four that, that'd be going across on top of your jack studs, and on top of the two by four, you'd have two two by six headers that would be placed vertical instead of horizontal, right? So they wouldn't be flat, they'd be standing up. But to replicate that, we're just gonna put another another piece on here. Okay, and so this would be the same thing. We're gonna just put this down onto our board. Okay, let's clean up some of this glue. So the good thing about this glue is you can see, you can see exactly where the glue is, right? So it's easy to clean up. So we're gonna adjust this one a little bit tighter. All right. Okay, and so the last thing that we have to do is our cripples. Now our cripple studs are gonna be one and one sixteenths, right? So one and one sixteenths, so it's gonna be the first line past the one, right? And so we're gonna have three of those, three cripple studs that are one and one sixteenths. So we can double check our measurement right here so you can see it's one and one sixteenth, okay? And so when we're looking at this right here, we're gonna space we are going to space those at evenly spaced, right? And so evenly spaced, we're going to space them at 5 eighths of an inch. 5 eighths of an inch spacing on those. <clears throat> and so we're just going to coat the ends with our little dipstick here because they're too short to stick in, right? So we have our little dipstick that we've dip, that we've dipped into our piece, right? And so we're going to space these at 5 eighths of an inch. Five eighths, five, 5 eighths of an inch. It will be evenly spaced across. So I don't know if you guys can see the marks on, on our pieces that we've done, but I have little marks that I'm going off of here. And so we're gonna put our next piece down. And so then we place our last piece here. And that's it. So this is our wall, guys. This is the entire wall structure. This is what you guys are gonna be building today. If you have any questions, make sure that you ask the questions. Again, all the measurements at the beginning of the video, and hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.